Hello, fans of Chicago Soccer Talk of Colin. This is the last episode for this season for both the Red Stars and the Chicago Fire. It's going to be a quick, short episode to the point because both teams' seasons ended on a sour note. The Red Stars and the Chicago Fire both missed the playoffs. There will be no title run for either club. Both ended up losing. The Fire lost to New York City FC to end their season. And the Red Stars lost to Old Rain to end theirs as well. Both teams have been eliminated. The MLS playoffs are starting soon. The NWSL playoffs started yesterday. So both seasons are finally over. It's pretty simple to discuss why both teams failed and missed the playoffs. The Red Stars, their main issue in missing the playoffs, which I've discussed, was their inexperience in defense and midfield strikers as well. They had good goalies, but the main issues was they couldn't score and they struggled to keep teams off the board as well. So ended up that being a reason for their defeat. And also, they didn't get very many draws. They only had three draws this season. They lost 12 matches. And they won seven matches. So they didn't finish last in wins, but their issues were they lost tied for the most games in the league. And they finished last in the league. So finishing last, most losses are not recipes for success. And overall, I expected a poor season for Red Stars. I wasn't expecting a playoff position. If they did, for me, it was going to be last, like the last playoff squad, number six seed, they may sneak in. And with the amount of losses they had, they weren't very close to the last team, which was Angel City, they weren't very close. I talked a lot about maybe they could sneak it in like months ago when the end, it wasn't enough, they end up losing and they are gone. So hopefully some new players can be added to the squad next season. There'll be more players added for the draft, but my hopes are more they can get some players is who have more experienced free agents because they've been collecting some players for the draft who have been semi-successful or still growing, developing. But they need to get more players who have experience because they lost most of those when free agents began in the league. Most of their best players hit the road. They still have some good players of talent on this squad. We'll see who leaves this season. I haven't looked at free agent transaction or, or players who are resigned for the upcoming season. So we might lose some more players of experience, hopefully not too many. We'll see who is staying and who's going once off season begins and free agency starts. That's the Red Stars campaign overall it was disappointment, but not a shocking disappointment. So I'm not really angry or screaming, crying because they failed. I was expecting a low season and then that was that no playoffs, but just have to keep growing, improving, collecting new players, developing the current players they have who are younger rookies and young players and hoping to shore up the weaknesses in the back line and in the striking midfield positions as well because we can't score and you allow more than one goal two goals it's over when they allow are down like one goal most season like oh no it's over because that was too much they couldn't score more than one goal of match and you're not going to win any matches when that's the case so that's their season, Red Stars. Next season, we'll discuss more on the improvements when our season starts going, when they make some moves, either in coaching, offense, defense, goalkeeping. I'll get down to that. But this concludes my Red Stars talk for this year. Thanks for joining in for Red Stars info talk. Enjoy your questions and answers. Enjoy talking about the club. Those not a success, it's still fun to talk about them. You're not going to have a great season every year. Don't want to look like I'm only wearing Chicago Fire gear. So here's why. 
um, Red Stars jacket just to show it off. It was too too hot in my apartment. I don't need to wear a hoodie. <laughs> so that's it for them. Now move on to the fire. It's going to be fast as well. The fire season officially ended with one nil loss to New York City FC last night on the road. And that's their season. They finished 13th in the Eastern Conference. And though it sounds like an epic fail, they actually weren't that many points off the final playoff spot based on points and goal differential. Goal differential wasn't that amazing because their offense was pretty poor. I think it was negative 12 was goal differential. So they allowed 12 more goals than they scored, which isn't that fantastic. And weaknesses, which I've discussed, have been pretty simple. Lack of scoring. They've held some teams down in terms of goals, so they haven't allowed too many goals, but lack of scoring and consistency, two of the main issues. We'll have to see what improvements Frank Klopas, if he stays the head coach, the manager, or will he leave because he's only interim as far as I know. They haven't put permanent manager tag on him as of last minute knowledge. So we'll see who's the new head coach, if they'll get someone new or they'll just keep him to run the team for another year. The Fire missed the playoffs again, have not made the playoffs in a long time. The last time they won a match in the playoffs was 2009. They missed it yet again. And I'm more angry about the Fire's failures and the Red Stars because that was more expected based on the club's roster and turnover. Whereas the Fire, I was hoping maybe with the young players we collected, some of the experience with Shakiri and other players as well, Rafa Chios, maybe the club could have snuck in as the final seed. And for a major part of the season towards the end, we were like right there close to the final seed, which nine teams out of the Eastern Conference, Western Conference both make it. So a lot of clubs are going to the playoffs already. Whereas the Fire only needed Based on 40 points they collected, 43, and then looking at goal differential head-to-head matchups, they could have snuck in. So I guess 44 would have been the best amount of points they needed. So they needed four more points, and they would have comfortably, by one point, made it in as the final seed in the MLS playoffs. But instead, the season's over. Finished for the last year for conference. And I haven't looked at Western Conference points, but based on what it was for all the year, I think they're finishing for the last. There's teams with worse points in Western Conference than them. So maybe they're fifth to worst is my sixth worst, maybe, is my guess. So they weren't the worst club in all the MLS. Weren't even middle of the road, really, just the season end over. Got to watch them twice, both times. They ended up not winning, as far as I remember, against New York City. And then against um, Orlando City. So in the end, the fire season's over. Disappointment. But we had to move on. The team has to improve with scoring, especially. The defensive goalkeeping at points were okay. They weren't unbelievable, but overall they were decent. Chris Brady, Spencer Ritchie had their ups and downs. Defense, midfielders, right back, left backs. Back line had its ups and downs. The main issue is the scoring. Just like the Red Stars, they had a lot of matches where it was 2-0, to 3-0, 1-0, or 2-1. or two to one. Like They couldn't barely scrape even one goal into the net. And just like the Red Stars, that's why they finished towards the bottom of their respective leagues. Lack of scoring. It's easy to complain why the team can't score. Why do they always score zero goals? And you can fix the roster as much as you want. You can bring in the most successful European players or South American, North American players, but they just need to figure out a better strategy, better system under the new coach, if it was Frank Klopas or whoever it is, to try to get this club fixed. Because George Heights can say all he wants, that he sees a new p- plan, he can sense it, he can feel it, but that's going to get old fast. If every single season they say the same thing, the teams turn a corner, the teams just one player away from big success because it's like the fourth year in a row they've said the same thing. And they still failed and didn't make the playoffs. So that's all I have to say about the fire, just failure overall. 
disappointment for me. More disappointed about them, the Red Stars, because they have big money sent in some of these players, and some of these players are young, and they're expecting big things, and in the end, it was a failure. So thanks so much for listening to my talk on both Fire and the Red Stars, both seasons over. Once the offseason begins and moves are made on both respective squads, I'll have more discussions, opinions. But for now, that concludes both seasons. This will probably be the last episode for a while until the offseason starts moving along. Thank you so much. See you next time at Chicago Soccer Talk. Colin, had a great time. Stay safe. Enjoy the playoffs and MLS and NWSL. Thank you.